that we are going to be solving this system of equation. So we have x squared plus xy equals 28 and y squared plus xy equals 21. Now we have x squared plus xy. From the first one, we're going to have x, s is common. I'm going to factorize x out, okay, plus y equals 28. Then also from the second one, we have what we have y common. I'll factorize y same as x plus y because y times y, y square, y times s, x, y. Then equals 21. So let's label this three and this four. So now from there, the next thing we are going to do. So now seeing that we can see uh, x plus y, x plus y common to the both equation. So so we're going to divide four, divide four by what? By three. So if you divide four by three, you can see that we're going to have y x plus y over x into bracket x plus y equals 21 over what 28 so this we cancel this one we're going to have y over x equals 21 divided by 8 if you reduce this 21 to 8 use 7 okay as a means of reduction and that's going to be what 21 divided by 7 that's going to be 3 and 28 divided by 7 that's going to be the 4 so now here this implies that making x the subject here eh, x is going to be multiply x multiply this by this we are going to have 4y then all over what all over 3 so we have x to be equals 4y all over 4y over 3 let's label this to be equation 5 let's put from where let me say from where from 2 so x equals 4y over 3 then we're going to put from 2 that is y squared plus xy equals 21 now let's put 5 y squared plus anywhere we see x x is going to be 4y over 3 multiplied by y equals 21 so from here you can see that we're going to have now let's multiply everything by 3 we're going to have 3y squared plus 3 we cancel 3 that's going to be 4 and why we multiply we have 4y squared equals then 3 we multiply the 21 also we're going to have what we're going to have 63 so see 3y squared plus 4y squared that's going to give us 7y squared equals 63 so this implies that so we're going to have y squared to be equals dividing both sides by 7 we're going to have 63 divided by 7 and that's going to give us 9 okay so from there y square equals 9 and you know that we can have if we take the square root of both sides we're going to have y to be equals plus or minus what plus or minus 3 so we have which means which shows that we have y1 to be 3 and we have y2 to be what to be minus 3 so please i want you to write these values down because I might be doing some cancellations there, but when you have it with you, so you'll be able to follow up. So I have y1 to be 3 and y1 to be 2. But don't forget that we are not looking for the values of y alone, so we are looking for the values of x also. So we are going to do substitution. Just let's pick any of the equation, then we we'll do substitution. So now the equation that we are going to be taking is this equation 5. Let me take this equation 5. So, from 5, from 5, I have x to be 4y all over 3. Now, the x for y, for y equals, for y1 equals 3. So, we're going to have what we're going to have x1 to be equals 4 times what is y1 we have 3 all divided by 3 so we're going to have x1 to be equals 
so 4 times 3 that is 12 12 divided by 3 you know this we cancel this we have 4 so it means when x is 4 then we have y to be what y to be 3 that's the word point what point 1 then for y 2 equals minus 3 equals what equals minus 3 we're going to have x2 x2 is going to be 4 multiplied by minus 3 then divide by 3 okay we have x2 to be equals 3 we cancel this remain minus 1 here so 4 times minus 1 we're going to have minus 4 so that way we have x2 to be minus 4 so the second point will now be minus 4 comma when y is minus 3 so we have these two the pairs of equation x1 is x1 is 4 x1 y1 minus 4 this 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 so now that is the solution to the problem this one and uh, 4 comma 3 okay these are the two so if you want to check whether you are right or not just pick this value for x1 and y1 use this one put it back to the equation and see whether the equation is going to satisfy then do this one also and see whether the equation is going to satisfy so with that you see that you are going to have your equation satisfy or this uh, this solution satisfy the equation Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the class, kindly share to your colleagues. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, consider subscribing today. Hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime you upload a new content. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.